Hi and uh, welcome to Collier's TV. Uh, today we'd like to introduce uh, a very successful businessman uh, who's been an inspiration to many and of course a stalwart in our industry, um, Mr. M. R. Jaishankar, CMD Brigade Group. Thank you so much for joining us today, sir. Thank Appreciate you, you taking pleasure. time. My pleasure to be on Collier's team. Thank you, sir. Um, before we start, I just well, we need to understand. Uh, we uh, we hear that you've been quizzed often on your name, okay. the Brigade Brigade Group, okay. and in fact, uh, it's what we believe is that uh, a lot of newcomers to the city wonder whether Brigade Road got their name after your group and after Brigade Towers. Yeah. Uh, I think the newcomers you used to ask me this uh, much more uh, when our headquarters was on uh, in Brigade Towers which was on Brigade Road. It so happened, uh, uh, you know, I entered this uh, uh, field of business uh, uh, in 1986 and I had a small scale industry before that and when I had industrial uh, relations uh, problem there, I shifted to this line of business after some uh, amount of, uh, you can say, research, market research. I thought the real estate uh, is a field uh, which has got uh, good potential. That's how I entered and uh, when I signed the first property, I did not have uh, the company. So I said, uh, let me, since the pro property was on uh, Brigade Road, I named it as uh, Brigade Investments. And since the building was on Brigade Road, I called it as Brigade Towers. So it so happened, uh, you know, my address used to be uh, Brigade Investments you know, Brigade Towers, Brigade Road, Bangalore. <laughs> but, but till now people believe that Brigade Road is named after you. So that's... Uh, it's, uh, it's if <laughs> someone believes it, I won't say no. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But what, what made you choose real estate? I mean, we know you very successfully ran ML, MLR Industries and come from a family background of business with the highest integrity and your lineage suggests that. Uh, how, how what roped you into real estate? No, as, as I said, uh, I had to choose uh, uh, a line of business when uh, I had uh, industrial relations issue in the earlier business. Uh, th then, you know, we explored few options and real estate was, uh, was, you can now call it as a nascent industry then. So, the, in fact, uh, uh, ours was uh, one, of the, one of the very first uh, buildings uh, to be sold as uh, office spaces, to be sold as real estate. Otherwise, most office spaces used to be on uh, a lease basis or rental basis. And in 1986, when we launched uh, Brigade Towers, which was a uh, 15-story building and a 60 meters tall building, it, uh, it became the tallest private building in the city of Bangalore. Today, you may not want to believe it. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I, I believe, uh, in fact, uh, Brig uh, Mr. Jai Shankar has been known for the many firsts, the first, the tallest building, the first to advertise, I think uh, you took advertising to a new level yes. in the real estate industry. Um, no, it, it, it has been, it has been good, but what are the challenges you've, you've faced over the years? You've grown from a single building, yeah. a private enterprise into a multi-domain diverse company into various asset classes. And you came at a time when you write nascent, very unorganized, but you managed to grow despite that. Yeah, see, over a period we have seen uh, uh, the, the time it takes uh, to obtain uh, various approvals, etc. That has been, uh, you ask any developer, they will say that is one of the main challenges of uh, getting the approvals on time. It used to be three to four months uh, in the 80s, it became six months, eight months. Uh, subsequently, now it is uh, 12 months if one is lucky. And it can even be mu much, much uh, l longer in case of uh, large projects. And, uh, you, you know, this kind of delays adds uh, uh, you know, interest to the cost of the uh, project and which can make the project uh, m m much more expensive to the customer and maybe less uh, feasible to the developer. So this is one of the challenges and of course uh, other than that to, to get the right uh, properties with the right titles is always uh, not that easy. Though there are plenty of uh, properties uh, in the city of Bangalore or even in other cities, you know, to get the right property at the, in the right location, right price with right titles, when there are so <laughs> many rights uh, involved, 
you know, you can go very wrong. Sure, sure. Yeah, it, it is it is a challenge and uh, land is the is the biggest raw material and it's extremely difficult to get. But you've been able to to get that in all the prime locations, which is which is very commendable. Um, but more than the land, it's the quality and the way you've grown your enterprise, which is very commendable. Uh, getting labor, getting key management staff, uh, that uh, hasn't that been a big challenge for you? Uh, see, in business, most businesses uh, there will be various challenges. Thank God we've been uh, we are blessed, and I should say we have a good team, wonderful team uh, uh, who deliver. And uh, the, the issue is about, uh, you know, growing and we have been uh, steadily growing, I would say. I can't say we are uh, geometrically <laughs> growing, but we have been steadily growing year on year. And uh, the, that steady growth has helped us to do, do multiple projects, innovative projects. Yeah, I know. Uh, helped us to make what we are. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you're extremely humble when you say steadily growing. <laughs> we we have seen and we've been hearing right from brand pro the sorry brigade promise to uh, uh, upgrade to brigade and now your tagline is building positive experiences. Yeah. Can you uh, talk a little about the, that, sir? So see, when we started in '86, the, the, there was uh, of course uh, the question of uh, you know being the first uh, project. You know, the, there will always be the question with the customer whether it is the first time or whether uh, how the person is able to deliver. So our first tagline was uh, we deliver more than we uh, promise. That used to be our first uh, tagline. We deliver more than we promise. Over the years, we, we, we said, you know, the started developing trust. And uh, we, we, we started with, uh, uh, you know, uh, b b builders of quality and developers of trust. That is how uh, we made uh, the trust tagline. Then as uh, time progressed, uh, I, I think uh, the customer uh, desire uh, was also uh, ch changing. So uh, with exposure to international, uh, uh, I, I would say happenings all over the world due to television and other things, the aspiration levels were more. So we started with the tagline for better quality of life. And, and over a period then when the competition and you know the, when that aspect was accepted by the customer in our projects we said uh, uh, you know upgrade to brigade for a better quality of life uh, was the uh, tagline the, then I think I th over a period you know uh, periodically ad agencies will also be there they will also be reviewing periodically the taglines now, now I think the entire thing is about uh, giving experience, whether, you know, so we said we are building positive experiences is uh, our current tagline, but, uh, you know, upgrade to brigade has been our most uh, successful tagline. Oh, we must compliment you because having a tagline is one thing, but you've actually been living up to it. Yeah. And uh, your customers are your biggest brand promoters. Uh, uh, we we are yet to hear something negative, uh, and that's thanks to the the brand you've built. Um, just changing topics to a little on the general side. Um, the hot topic right now in Bangalore is the NGT issue. Yeah. So and that's affected most of the large developers who have got large projects ongoing or large large land parcels. Uh, what is your view on this, and do you see a resolution in sight? See, thankfully, none of our ongoing projects are uh, affected. But uh, some of the, uh, you know, to be launched uh, or uh, signed up projects, uh, some of them are affected. Uh, it's unfortunate, uh, uh, you, you know, whatever order has come, it is uh, quite uh, negative uh, to many properties in the city of Bangalore. Uh, we only hope and pray that uh, uniform uh, uh, set of rules are... Uh, uh, you know, uh, promulgated across the country and uh, not, uh, Bangalore is not targeted with uh, much more uh, harsh uh, set of rules. Yeah, you're right because Bangalore is one of the key markets for India uh, commercially. Uh, the offtake is, is number one, there's no one who even comes close to Bangalore and you yourself have experienced it with your large commercial portfolio and retail as well. Um, which also brings me to uh, the REIT issue which we are there, the introduction of REITs. Uh, what, what are your views on that and do you see yourself getting listed soon? 
No, REIT is a very welcome thing, uh, particularly for uh, commercial properties and hospitality uh, properties. And uh, <coughs> there has to be some critical mass. And the brigade is also interested in uh, coming out with a REIT at an appropriate time. Uh, but probably we may take uh, two, two to three time, uh, years or so. So far, uh, uh, no developer has come out with a REIT, although quite a few are uh, gearing up to come up with a, a REIT. And uh, as I said, uh, we will study the response and uh, we will gear up in the next two to three. You take it up the right time. Yeah, because you have got uh, all the asset classes and you're one of the few developers who uh, have got all the, you've, uh, not only residential, but commercial, retail and hospitality. And the hospitality business you've been growing, in fact, I believe you want to take it to 2,000 rooms by 2020? Yeah, well, we are quite confident uh, and we hope uh, we'll be in a position to do it because we have all the uh, lands required to construct that and uh, most of the, uh, you know, uh, up plans are approved and uh, many, many of them are, uh, we have already completed, uh, you can say 600 units, uh, 600 keys and uh, in this financial year FY18 we'll have close to 1000 uh, rooms or keys and on, uh, by next year we should have uh, uh, another 500 uh, uh, rooms by FY19. So in uh, three years time we should be uh, having uh, about uh, 2000 uh, rooms operational in uh, different parts of uh, uh, South India and one in Gujarat. And uh, you don't ex plan to expand into the other cities? Uh, see, uh, currently we, we have uh, ho hotels in Bangalore, Mysore, operational also in Chennai very recently. Already in Chennai we opened a fortnight back and uh, next year we'll be opening in Kochi, uh, again in Bangalore and uh, uh, also in Gibt City, uh, Gujarat. And um, uh, in the hospitality business being a long gestation period and very capital intensive, most developers who have uh, tried it have uh, not really gone further into expansion mode. Uh, but you are extremely bullish, so uh, what's behind that move? I would say we are cautious at the same time uh, optimistic, primarily because, uh, you know, the, uh, India is a growing economy and one of the fastest growing economies in the world. And the number of business visitors or the tourist visitors to India is very, very low, just about 9 million people for a country of you know 1.25 billion people. And the entire country is having maybe less than 125,000 quality rooms of three, four and five stars. And whereas uh, there are 10 cities in the world which have uh, more number of rooms than the entire country can offer, whether it is uh, Las Vegas, whether it is New York, whether it is Tokyo, or uh, uh, you, you, you know, uh, Dubai or Singapore or Hong Kong, all these places have uh, more than 100,000 rooms. I, I totally agree with you, sir. Uh, uh, and we've seen that uh, because of the herd mentality, people go get in and out of uh, certain asset classes. And I think uh, you've made the right decision, both in retail as well as in hospitality, which people have been staying away for. But I think at the right time, uh, you are investing in that. And I wish you all, all, all the best, best for that. But just before we, we wind up this, uh, um, you have been really successful in what you've built. Uh, what would be your advice to various stakeholders in this industry. This industry has been plagued by negativity all through. And you have actually proved everybody wrong with your transparency, your integrity, honesty. So what would your advice be to the various stakeholders in this industry to, to be successful or anywhere near you? I think your question also had the answer. <laughs> transparency, honesty and integrity is what you said. I think that is one of the key things not only for this business and it is uh, for uh, mo mo most businesses. Uh, re real estate is uh, uh, a challenging but a satisfying uh, b business because we create uh, edifices uh, which, uh, which will last for uh, generations and uh, we, we also meet uh, the one of the very basic human needs, that of uh, a housing, a roof over uh, one's head. and. Uh, <coughs> 
uh, and uh, I think the, it is a l long duration uh, business. It is not something uh, what you can uh, get in and get out uh, like maybe a technology business, startups, what you see. It is not easy in uh, re real estate. One has to uh, work hard and be focused and stay for long. Amazing. Thank you so much, sir. You have definitely lived up to the promise and that's why your brand has been growing. Wish you all the best for the future. And Thank thanks for taking time for this. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.